First Church of the Holy Giants. The First Church of the Holy Jackass is not an actual religious institution that is legally recognized or subsidized with any taxpayer money. It is instead a one-person Setian religious art project and social initiative that is coordinated entirely by me, G.B. Marion, a priest of Set in the LV-426 tradition of Setianism. And I am here to offer a very different concept of religion than most people in the United States of America are familiar with. Dua set, so mote it be. If you could ask my 14-year-old self what he wanted to be when he grew up, he would say, a priest of set. I wanted to be a clergy person involved in some kind of church, and I wanted to help make the world a more Sidian place. Not in terms of convincing people to believe in Set, but in terms of encouraging them to be more like him, even if they don't believe. How exactly does a person become a priest of Set in this day and age? There are certain pagan and occult groups one may join but I determined that neither of these groups would be a good fit for me personally when I was still just a kid. So for many years, I focused on just serving as a priest for my coven mates in the LV-426 tradition, a small homegrown city and fellowship that we started together in Texas when we were young. In 2015, I started the blog that eventually became DesertOfSet.com. Then I wrote and administered a brochure about Setianism. Then I recorded a bunch of sermons and rituals for my In the Desert of Set podcast. Then I started producing soundtrack albums for imaginary Setian films, TV shows, and video games that don't actually exist. It's like I've been trying to open doors to some other dimension where Setian media is the norm, as opposed to being just an outlier. It's only been recently that I've started to realize I have basically been functioning as a one-person church this entire time. If the idea of a one-person church sounds silly, let me contextualize this for you. Most Christian churches, yes, even the so-called legitimate ones, are actually predatory business corporations that are subsidized with taxpayer money. They mostly use all that tax-exempted revenue they generate to build their lavish steeples, indoctrinate new believers, and lobby the government to legislate their theological beliefs into law. Feeding the homeless and such is just an afterthought, and this is just as true of the Catholic and Protestant churches as it is of cults like the Church of Scientology. Whether we agree with their beliefs or not, we're all paying for these institutions to strip us of our basic human rights. And if we tax these churches just as strictly as we tax all secular businesses that exist for their own profit, this country would never have to worry about having a national debt ever again. In contrast, apart from selling my music on Apple, Amazon, and other such platforms, I provide all of my self-produced publications, sermons, prayer cards, podcasts, videos, motivational PSAs, and other religious media to the general public entirely for free. I also pay for all of these things to exist from my own pocket. Nobody is helping me fund any of it, and I'm not exactly making a profit here, either. I have to work a job to pay my bills, just like everyone else who isn't rich. I also pay my taxes to the IRS every year. Boy, do I. But I'm fine with this, because the mission of this church is simply to incite as much setianness in as many other people as possible, not to profit from them or become their grand high pooba. 
and I figure the best way to accomplish this mission is by not requiring anyone to pay any fees or kiss any hiney for my services as a priest. This is also a benefit to me in that I don't have to worry about censoring my political speech. Not that most organized tax-exempt churches bother to do this anyway. I can use my pulpit to support whatever political content I see fit, and there ain't a god's damn thing Jerry Falwell Jr. or Marjorie Taylor Greene can do about it. <laughs> Apart from kissing my pimply white ass, of course. Additionally, I am just either too much of a control freak when it comes to my own religious content, or I have seen too many organized churches start with the very best of intentions, only to splinter down the line due to infighting and hypocrisy, or even outright abuse among the leadership. I'm not about to put myself in any position where someone has power over me like that, and I'm not interested in luring anyone else into such a position either. That's why I'd rather just do everything for my church entirely by myself. I figure this way, if I make any mistakes, we will all know exactly who's responsible for them. Me. And anyone who loses interest in the church can simply stop paying attention to it. They won't have any administrative or financial entanglements to unravel. It is unnecessary for anyone to ever join or make any kind of commitment to this church at all, apart from myself. So here's how it works. The first church of the Holy Jackass is my spiritual legacy, the full canon of all my art, music, and literature for set. I am the only clergy person, the sole caretaker for this church, and the entire world is its laity. My work is intended for a setian audience first and foremost, but it's also here for anyone to enjoy and hopefully learn from or feel empowered by somehow, even if they don't identify a setian or believe in set. If you happen to enjoy this stuff and you'd like to help somehow, the biggest contribution you can possibly make is by prioritizing your own self-realization in life and in the healthiest way that you can. If it's helpful to you, you can share any of the materials available at DesertOfSet.com on your social media and spread them around, but there is no obligation to even do that much. The First Church of the Holy Jackass doesn't need or want your money. It wants you to invest in yourself and to encourage others to do the same. Become the person you want to be and make it safe for others around you to become who they want to be too. Then the majesty of Set will be unveiled for you and all your loved ones to behold, and the mission of this ministry shall be fulfilled. Set is mighty and sore.